all right welcome back to this nba 2k23 my nba career and before we hop into what will be our final game of the regular season it's not the actual final game but for this series it will be the final game of the regular season against the pelicans if you did not know did not know i have a challenge going on where if you can guess our final record and seeding I will put your comment in the end of season video, which would be next episode. So I don't want to show our current record because then it'd be very easy to guess our record. So we're going to be playing the Pelicans this episode. These are my stats, 77 games in 29 points, 10.1 rebounds, 9.5 assists, 2.2 steals, which is leading the league for the second year in a row, a 1.4 blocks, which I think is leading the league for guards. Now, I am very close to averaging a triple-double. In simulation, I have been a rebounding god. I think I had a 25-rebound game. But assist-wise, not as good as I thought I'd be. I mean, 9.5 assists is really good. And I also have a metal ball on my team. So I'm thinking if, if I can get like 15 to 20 assists in this Pelicans game, maybe that number will boost up. But I would need the final few games that we have in this regular season. I'd need to average like 10 assists. So it's possible, but also very difficult at the same time. The big three is playing fantastic as usual in the regular season. 20 points, 17 points. Lamel Ball is having an amazing season. And he is just back to shooting well from three, 47%. Uh, eight and 17 points and nine rebounds. I'm leading our team in block, which is not good. And it's a bonus. It's just amazing. 16 points and 9 rebounds, 6 and a half assists. Aaron Gordon's giving us 14. And then Isaiah Joe off the bench is giving us 10. It's just a perfect season for us. If you go over to the Pelicans, they are currently led by Trey Young, who was on their team, uh, averaging 26 and 12 and a half assists, which is a career high for him. Zion's averaging 22 points on 71% from the feed, which is absurd. Uh, and DeJounte Murray, who got traded during the season, is averaging 17 points, 4 rebounds, and 4 assists. Uh, Miles Bridges, who they traded Carl Anthony Towns for, is averaging 15 points. And Vucevic, their new center, is averaging 14 and 7, which is not that bad. But they this team lacks rebounding. So I think we're going to dominate them on the boards. And this might be a dominant win. Here we go. Our final se uh, game of this regular season for this third season of Cedric Lewis my career we're going up against the current 44 and 33 um New Orleans Pelicans led by Zion and Trey Young this team is nasty I moved um Sabonis to the center so I can have uh Aiton trying guard um so not Sabonis trying guard is Zion because I prefer Aiton on Zion over Sabonis on Zion because Aiton can bring some sort of physicality while Sabonis might just get completely bodied by him as DeJounte Murray. I'm going to contest that well enough and he is going to miss that shot. I just realized this is an Easter game, I guess. Uh, Easter Sunday game here in Charlotte. Aiton. Oh, you're not playing center. Oops. Well, that's going to take us. That's going to take a second to get used to. Uh, yeah, you're not playing center. I, I keep messing that up. I was cutting, but LaMelo. What are we doing, LaMelo? So you got to take a shot quick. He got open for three, and it's good. Off the eight in block. I thought the bonus would have had more space. I have five assists. I haven't even scored, and we had the lead. Uh, yeah, that he DeJounte Murray was so up on me. Pause. That I wasn't even able to get free of that screen. And the bonus throws it down. The bonus has five. Aaron Gordon has four. So that is nine points. So that means LaMelo Ball has nine points. He scored our first nine points for our, our team. So that just shows you that it's probably going to be a LaMelo Ball game. I don't plan on scoring at will unless I have to. I want to try and get this dumb assist game. So I can average a triple-double. So bonus gets a block. That's something that doesn't happen often. They're going to give the ball to LaMelo. Uh, LaMelo, we're going to keep you cooking. Set the screen for LaMelo Ball. It's a turnover. I should have expected that. All right, Cedric Lewis is getting benched. Only up by two, probably because I really haven't scored any points. Uh, we're up by six. I'll take that LaMelo Ball. I'm going to have the primary um, playmaking um, duties, LaMelo. So uh, just sit back and drop 30, all right? Just sit back and drop. Is that Yuta the shooter on this team? Yuta. He's actually getting minutes too. You'll love to see it. All right. Uh, LaMelo, actually shoot the ball, please. Thank you. I just realized that they're running Yuta at the power forward. So that means we have Aiton or Sabonis that will be on him on the offensive end, which is straight barbecue chicken. And they're playing DeLon Wright right now on LaMelo Ball. Sabonis, 
It looked like good defense until you fouled. All right, I'm going straight to whoever Yuda is guarding in the post. And it looks like it's going to be Sabonis. We're going straight to Sabonis in the post. Sabonis, eat him. Cook him up. Cook him. Sabonis, easy back down, and it's good. That's my 10th assist in the first half. Zero points, a rebound, and 10 assists. Sabonis, I'm almost, going almost to spam it to you every time then if they're going to have Yuda on you. That's just barbecue chicken. Yeah, expected. They immediately subbed out Yuda once we got two straight possessions of Sabonis back down action. Pause. Uh, they brought right. They brought Zion right back in to uh, make sure that doesn't happen again. Dejounte Murray in the corner. It's off actually, wide open. Uh, no one, no one's cutting with me. No one's cutting with me. Okay, Lamelo, give that back. Lamelo, give that back. All right. Yeah, I mean, you didn't wanna, you didn't want full on sprint, bud. Then you ain't getting the ball. Matisse Leibel, they're giving you space. Just launch that thing. You can shoot. Oh, you, you couldn't shoot there. Oh, you don't know how bad I wanted that shot. I can I can score. Like, this is not a challenge where I'm not allowed to score. I just don't want to. Um, Try it again, Matisse. Okay. Oh, Sabonis, bro. We have just been feeding him, dude. Oh, he took a stupid shot. Why, bro? You could have had um, four straight buckets off the post if you just backed him down. He just hit... A shot over Zion. He backed him all the way down. Uh, Vooch. Uh, he got me, but I'm right back at it. Oh, he still got it over. But Sabonis has been killing it in the post. I don't know why he didn't just back him down. Uh, I'm going to go right back to him. I'm going to go right back to him. Sabonis in the post. In the post. Post down Zion. Back down Zion. It's too easy. Sabonis, it's too easy for him. He's got 18 points now. They made a weird switch. They put the Marcus Cousins in the game, but they took out Vucevic. If I was them, I put in Boogie just for the size, but keep in Vooch. And just okay. I I mean, hey, if you're gonna back him down, and he's not gonna back him down. Um, I would just want the size to be honest. Uh, right now we are just overpowering him. Just give it to me. So no, no, dude, Aiden, Aiden, you're not. It's not working. It's not working, bud. I'm just going to kick it out to Gordon. Lamella ball open for three. He hits it. Lamella ball from downtown. Bro, Sabonis has just been having his way with this Pelicans team. Go right up, Sabonis. He's got 22 in the half. Sabonis is unstoppable. 13 seconds. That's I've got zero points, five rebounds, and 13 assists going in that halftime. I can possibly make it 14 assists here for Lamella ball. Can get a quick bucket. Lamella ball into the paint. It's possible. He missed. All right. We're going to have a 40 to 58 point lead. So bonus has 24 points at the half. I'm going to be honest with you. This is probably the last time we're going to face the Pelicans. It's the same reason why I don't play the Sixers. It's because all their plays are just back downs. It's just Zion goes to the post and takes the post fade. It's the same thing with the Sixers. They just throw him beat into the post and he goes for a post fade. There's like no... Watch, I watch them do it on this play. Well, actually, this is probably gonna be the one play that they don't try and do it. But every single time, they just have their star player going to the post. Yeah, see, that's gonna be the one time where they just launch a three, and it's way off. It's just so not fun to play against when they're just running the same exact plays over and over and over again. I, I don't know. I'm just not scoring to be honest. All right, maybe this is my first bucket. That's the first bucket of the game for Cedric Lewis. I'm on the board with three points. Let's see. I'm going to keep talking. Let's see if they go straight to Zion in the post. It's looking like it. It is 100% looking like it. Uh, no, Zion's actually going to come set the screen. He's going to roll to the basket. And he's Trey Young turns the ball over. Who saw that one coming? They're not guarding me. They just did not guard me there. All right, I'm going to sub that out here. We have a 24 point lead and we have just been unstoppable uh my rebounds have gone down as the season has gone on i averaged 12 and a half rebounds a game in january uh we're up by 24 points still mike conley at the free throw line he's gonna drill that one a minute left in this third quarter yeah there's no way they come back watch what they're gonna do they're gonna go to zion in the post aren't they yep zion in the post zion williamson post fade wow who saw that one coming they have six seconds on the shot clock, 11 seconds left in this quarter. They're going to go to DSJ, kick it out to Miles Bridges for the contested three. It's off. I get my eighth rebound. Six seconds left. I'm trying to go up the court. Four, three, 
two, one, going straight ahead. I'm going to get fouled with 1.4 left in this third quarter. Cedric Lewis is going to have 12 points, 8 rebounds, and 17 assists going into the fourth quarter with a 26-point lead. Yeah, this Pelicans team ain't no match. This could be it. This could be it. There it is. 21 points, 10 rebounds, 20 assists, triple-double for Cedric Lewis to end off his most likely MVP season. Insanity. 16 seconds left in this game. Uh, uh, it's obviously over. But I do want to try and get another bucket here. 21 points, 12 assists. Not 12 assists, 26 assists. 12 rebounds. I am going to not get a bucket. That's sad. Aiton almost got the rebound there. But we are going to take out the Pelicans 124 to 80. I knew I said we'd out-rebound. I mean, we had the size of this team, so we'd probably dominate them. I didn't think in this fashion, bro. That was an absolute, like, we should all be arrested. And I wasn't even our leading scorer, and I was still the best player on the court. Uh, 28 points and 10 rebounds for Sabonis. He was our leading scorer. He only had four points in the second half. Cedric Lewis had 21 points, 12 rebounds, 26 assists. Even with 26 assists, I wasn't able to get up to averaging a triple-double. 9.7 assists a game. Uh, that, that sucks. Uh, only took 10 shots, though. Um, 7 of 10, 3 of 5 from 3. I did have 7 turnovers by me. I had 26 assists. Uh, 20 points for LaMelo Ball. Aiton had 15 and 9. He also had 3 blocks and 2 steals. Then Aaron Gordon with 13. Once again, I think we are undefeated. When, I, we are undefeated when all 5 of our starters this season score double digits or more. And for the Pelicans, Zion had 25 and did really nothing else. The Trey Young had 12 points. Didn't do much. Jante Murray was awful because I was guarding him. And that's it. They got no other contributions. Anyways, that's going to be for me. GG.